We're going to drop in a cube in my modeling toolkit. I'm going to press bevel under fraction. I'm going to type in 0.1 under segments. Let's do three. I'm then going to select my cube, press W, move it up. So it's kind of sitting on the grid. I'm going to drop in a plane. We're going to press R to scale, press W, and then press shift D as in delta to move this plane up. This is going to be the fabric we'll create and drop and drape over. With this top plane selected in my modeling toolkit, I'm going to press add divisions. Let's change this value to three. Your computer may or may not be able to handle this. More divisions means more resolution, so the fabric looks better, but more calculations, more lag, things like that. I'm going to clear my history with alt shift D as in delta. Next up, top left corner, change this from modeling to effects. I am going to go to in cloth and create in cloth. Now in my attribute editor, I'm under in cloth shape one. So if you have deselected, we can select the plane and also get there. We're going to go to presets and pick silk and replace. This is going to change the mass, all the stretchiness, all that wonderful stuff for our fabric. Next up, we are going to left click and drag to grab both of these. Go to in cloth, create passive collider. This red bar is calculating the simulation. So after you wait for that to load, we can scrub through our timeline and then see the results. Pretty cool. It's conforming to the cube. And then I can just scrub through my timeline and see which frame that I like. I like that one right there. So I will select the plane, press shift D. Let's go ahead and just scooch that over. This one does not have a simulation tied to it. And what that means is I can delete this one. You know, I can delete these rigids, the nucleus, all that fun stuff. With this one selected, I am going to under transfer Translate Z, set this to zero to put it back into position and select my fabric, press three. Look at those wonderful details. That is pretty great. The last step would be select the plane, go to face mode, double click. Let's head over to modeling toolkit again, press extrude, change the thickness to 0.01 and we gave it some thickness. This is the result.